Welcome everyone. In the last episode I've created a core gameplay. And this one is about how have I made a menu, local multiplayer and polished up the game again. My first step was adding three types of controls. WSID, arrow keys and the mouse. The first two types are simple. You basically modify the movement vector based on the keys pressed at the time. But the mouse. In the game when you can control two players at the same time. That's something you think about for a moment. In my code, the game calculates a position of a cursor and compares it to the position of a player to create a movement vector. Time for the soundtrack. I've made a transition between the soundtracks and Robot Gladiators, so I've copied the code and modified it a bit. I think that endgame is pretty boring and that's why I've added a rotating pie button. It looks funny for me, what can I do? Prepare for this piece of art. And back to work. I decided to avoid text in my game. That's why there is a text on the main menu. Look how cute this optional add button is. Everyone would love to click it over and over. Thank you. 
this part goes faster because there is a very long part of me just writing the code for controls menu without checking out if it works. The main menu is minimalistic, I would say, but I like it, especially the text lighting and the spaceships in the background. Now we need to see controls of every player. I'd like to show you how exactly the locomotive player in Alien Spy Fight works. First, I've saved core game and called it Game Instance. Next, I've created three containers with the copy of the game instance. Solo game, duo game player 1 and duo game player 2. Every container was moved away from the main camera and from other containers. The game instance got a separate camera and UI element which shows what it sees wherever I want. And now at the regular speed of this video. At this point it needed some fixing. I've also spent some time on testing. Let's check out how the game looks like now.
the game was still lacking sounds, but it wasn't hard to edit. At the end I've added a menu animation, the game icon and the game carousel. That's how the third day has ended. The game has taken 22 hours to make and I'm happy I have done it. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to make an update to the game and upload one more episode.